Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick how-to. In this video, we're going to show you how you can add a simple accordion FAQ widget in hosting your website builder. So first, we're going to use our FAQ section on the website builder. So here within the builder, go to pages and navigations and click on add page. So you can open the page in question or create a new one and then click on add to page. Right from here, we can just select and click on new empty page right here. And then we can basically change the name and navigation. So this one here is uh, FAQ, for instance, all right? So just select on, on it, okay. And then once done, click save. And then you just have to go to the FAQ page. So click on it. Now, once you're here, you can now go to uh, add a section, okay? So here you can select the FAQ and then you can select any FAQ design you want on your website and you can customize it however you like. So as you can see, we have five options here that you can choose from. So here, and uh, you can customize your FAQ section. You can go to the section settings. You can change the layout, the background, the anchor. So you can customize it according to your preference. The snap to element, section color. So like that. And you can use some of the options here, as you can see. And uh, if you want more custom design on your FAQ widget, you can use a, a third party tool. So here I'm going to recommend the uh, third party tool like the Elf site. So Elf site actually, uh, you can create a FAQ widget with a simple accordion. So it offers a various embedded widget right here included, including what I've said is the accordion FAQ widget. So in Elf site, you'll find a variety of FAQ widget templates. And once you select a template, you can customize it according to your liking. And once you're finished creating your widget, you can now save it and then click on the add to website and copy the integration code. So going back to your uh, website builder and then from here, you can go to add element and then here embed code. So you can paste the code into your website using the embed code element and resize it if necessary. And then once you're done, update your website for the changes to reflect online. So using the third-party tool F site is the best, and I recommend using that tool. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.